What's up, guys? So, uh, we're making another special video uh, tonight. I did the top 10 young impact players for each team, uh, for the majors, I should say, and why I thought they were impactful, and why I thought they are going to be the next generation's, you know, superstars. <clears throat> so right now, we're going to do the top 10 pitchers, I think, in my opinion, on in Major League Baseball, on based, and it's all based on what they've done or you know, what they have done in the past. So let's get into it. But before I do so, if you like this kind of stuff, Yankees or baseball, please hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons. It's greatly appreciated. Very helpful for the channel. Gives me great feedback on what you think of the content. And I don't want you to miss out on a single thing that I put out. So let's get on with it. Now, mind you, this is in no particular order. This is in uh, just randomly picked out. And these are pitchers that uh, have been a major impact for their team this year. So let's get started. <clears throat> so, um, Garrett Cole is leading off this list at number one. Again, this is in no particular order. So we're going based off of how... You know what I think and why. But anyways, uh, Garrett Cole is number one. Uh, his numbers are 4-0 with a 0 0.79 ERA with a 0 0.794 whip, which is walk, hits, and innings pitched uh, with 36 Ks, 10 walks, and 34 innings of work. Uh, to me, this is an easy one. There, there's no, no, this is a no-brainer. If the Yankees did not have Garrett Cole uh, on their roster, we, the Yankees would probably not have these four wins that he has provided and these outings. The bullpen would be even more taxed, and this team would be an even bigger mess if we didn't have him. He's pitching with a purpose. He is pitching with intensity, more intensity, than I've ever seen out of him before. He looks focused, like he wants to prove people wrong. And quite frankly, he's the reason why the Yankees are in the position that they're in uh, on the pitching side. He has really, really been a huge contributing factor to this team. Now, I am not saying last year he didn't have a good year, because he did. He had, an, he had a pretty decent year. Um, but this year, he's a man possessed. So to me, he makes the pit, this list on why he's uh, as one of the most impactful players for the Yankees and in Major League Baseball. <clears throat> so the next one that I have come, may come as a surprise because of his numbers, but that is Miami Marlins ace, Sandy Alcantara. So Alcantara has a 1-2 and two record with a 5.04 ERA, with a 1.154 whip, with 26 Ks, 9 walks, and 30 and a third innings pitched. Now you're probably wondering, floor train, why are you putting Alcantara on this list? Well, let's think about it. Last year he won the Cy Young Award, and he was one of the most dominating pitchers in the game. Now I get it, his ERA is high. It's not exactly what you would expect out of a former Cy Young Award winner and an ace. But if we play devil's advocate for a second and look at what he has done, has accomplished, and what we know him to be, he's only going to get better. He has a sinker that goes that is 100 miles an hour, that he, he throws at 100, with a devastating curveball. To me, he makes this list because if the Miami Marlins did not have Alcantara, they would not be as good as they are. That rotation, yes, I'm, I get it. They've got a million pitching prospects, but Alcantara is a special kind of talent. And we can't say that about a lot of starters nowadays because they don't go the distance. They don't, they're not bulldogs, and they don't go – they don't – 
try to save your bullpen. And Alcantara definitely makes this list because of that. So that's why he's on this list. Why he is one of the most impactful pitchers in Major League Baseball as well as Miami. So Alcantara comes in on this list because of those reasons. <clears throat> At number three, may also come as a surprise because this pitcher is having kind of a down year. But he is still impactful. And I'll explain to you in a second why. Corbin Burns of Milwaukee. He's 2-1 with a 4.55 ERA with a 1.157 whip, 22 strikeouts, 10 walks, and 27 and two-thirds innings pitched. Now, again, you may be saying, why is Corbin Burns on this list? Well, Corbin Burns is one of the most dominating pitchers in the National League, next to Alcantara. He is a former Cy Young Award winner. He has outstanding stuff. His cutter is probably one of the best in the game. His four-seam fastball, which he rarely throws, but he does have one, is electric. And his changeup and his curveball and his breaking stuff are just on a no- on another planet. On his own, he's on his own level. Corbin Burns. If Milwaukee were to lose Burns, which they are most likely going to now that he uh, teamed up with Scott Boris and his group, Milwaukee would not be where they are because he has made that pitching staff so much better. And when we think of impact players and impact pitchers, we think of what they do to a team's rotation. And that is what I think of when I think of Corbin Burns. Not that he's a Cy Young Award winner, but that he makes that pitching staff better. So that is why he is on this list as well. Also from Milwaukee on this list is Brandon Woodruff. Now he is hurt, but to be fair, he is a great compliment to Corbin Burns. Brandon Woodruff and Corbin Burns are Milwaukee's version of Garrett Cole and Justin Verlander on Houston when they were teammates. Woodruff pushes Burns. Burns pushes Woodruff. Now, Woodruff's numbers for this year is he's 1-0. He has a 0.79 ERA with an 882 whip, so 0.882. With 12 strikeouts, 3 walks, and 11 in the third innings pitched. Now, I know he's hurt. But, when he is healthy, his stuff moves just about as much as Corbin Burns' stuff moves. And they complement each other very nicely. So, he is impactful because he helps push his, his counterpart in Corbin Burns. And that, to me, says something. So I'm very, very uh, happy to have him on this list because of that. He is an impactful player. And there are probably, you know, at least 15 to 20 teams that would kill to have that kind of a one-two punch in the rotation. So that's why he makes this list. Uh, Next up, I've got Julio Urias of the Dodgers. He is a 26-year-old left-handed pitcher who is the ace of the staff and has really come into his own. From when he first started out to now, he is an impactful player, and I will get into that in a second because his numbers are 3-2 and two with a 3.33 ERA, a 1.22 whip with 30 strikeouts, 5 walks, and 27 innings pitched. Now, the reason why I say he is an impactful player is because, one, he's a lefty. Two, he, without Urias, the Dodgers rotation would only have Kershaw, and Kershaw's getting older. So, we have to remember that as well. Kershaw is getting older. He's not getting any younger. And having Urias really anchors that rotation, and that's impactful. 
because not a lot of teams can say that they have another guy who can can anchor a rotation. So to me, he's impactful because of that. And also, he's very deceptive. So that helps as well. So I do not expect Urias to leave the Dodgers after the season. I expect them to make sure that he gets locked up. And that is why he is an impactful pitcher for the Dodgers and in Major League Baseball. The next pitcher I have is Tampa Bay Rays ace, or should be ace, Shane McClanahan. He is a 25-year-old left-handed stud who has a 4-0 record with a 1.86 ERA, a 1.03 whip with 37 Ks, 12 walks, and 29 innings pitched. Now, Shane McClanahan is also an anchor for that staff in Tampa Bay. Behind Tyler Glass now, he has been outstanding. Now, when Glass not went and when Glass not went and got surgery after he got hurt, he stepped up and led that Rays rotation. He has been impactful on multiple occasions for them. When they need a big start out of a pitcher and when they need a big game pitched and they need that bullpen saved, he is the one to do it. He's a bulldog. He fights every inning. He does not stop. He makes his pitches and he makes his pitches count. He hides the ball extremely well and it makes it him so much more deceptive. He is an impact player for that Tampa Bay team and Tampa's rotation would not be as strong without him. That is why he is on this list as well for those reasons. Uh, the next pitcher I've got on this is Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw of the Dodgers is 4-1 two, with a 2.32 ERA, a 0.87 whip with 32 Ks, 5 walks, and 31 innings pitched. Now, like Urias, Kershaw is also a lefty, but we have to remember he is getting older. But for him to have these kind of numbers this early in the season as a left-handed pitcher who is getting older is phenomenal. His curveball still breaks 12-6. to six. It's still as devastating as it was when he first came up. Yes, he's lost velocity, but the Dodgers would not be where they are without Clayton Kershaw. So he is an impactful player because of what he's done to help this Dodgers team. So that's why Kershaw's on this list. At number eight, or not number eight because it's not going in any particular order, but the next pitcher I have on this list is Christian Javier of Houston. He's 2-0 with a 3.21 ERA, a 1.07 whip, 29 Ks, 6 walks, and 28 innings. Now, the reason why he is impactful is for two reasons. One, he can start or he can come out of the bullpen. And two, he is a nice complement to Framber Valdez in that rotation. Okay, so Christian Javier is a versatile pitcher that not a lot of people think about when you think of impactful. You think of big names like Cole, Scherzer, Verlander. But Christian Javier is impactful because of that. He is underrated and he's got outstanding stuff. So for those reasons, Christian Javier makes this list of the top impactful pitchers in Major League Baseball. Moving on to number nine, or again, not in any particular order, but the next person on this list is Max Freed of the Atlanta Braves. He's 1-0 with a 0 0.60 ERA with a .93 whip, 11 Ks, 3 walks, and 15 innings pitched. Again, he's hurt, I know. But if it weren't for Max Freed in Game 6 of that World Series last year, or in 21, the Braves would not have won that series. 
Max Freed is consistent. His breaking stuff is filthy to go along with a 97 mile an hour fastball. To me, Max Freed is impactful because without him, that Braves rotation would not be the same. And another way you can think of impactful is what does a pitcher mean to their ball club's rotation or their bullpen? But that's why Max Reed makes this list as a top impactful player in Major League Baseball and not just for Atlanta. And the last person on this list that makes it, and this was a tough one because there was a few pitchers I was debating between, but this one makes the most sense. And that is Shohei Otani of the Los Angeles Angels. He is 3-0 with a 0.64 ERA, a 0.82 whip, with 38 Ks, 15 walks, and 28 innings pitched. Now, this is an obvious one. But if you're looking at an impactful pitcher, he's impactful for the very reason that not only does he hit and pitch, but when he pitches, he gets the job done. He is the reliable pitcher that the a- that the Angels have. He has been there for, uh, since he signed with them, and he has proven to be a very, very desirable commodity. His stuff is about as good as anyone else's on this list. So Shohei Otani makes a great impact every time he goes out, and that is why he is on this list. If there's anyone I forgot, please let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, guys, have a great rest of your night. Talk to you later.